Very good. I know that uh, there's a lot of alloy chain slings in the use in, use in the field. I'm going to drag this open. First, always we always want to take a look and get down to the tag and identification that it's all properly marked. In this case, it's a single leg sling, and uh, we need a working load limit, uh, the grade of the chain, the length or reach, which is measured from bearing point to bearing point, needs to be stamped or marked. Number of legs, if more than one, uh, should also be in manufacture, and the size of the chain, of course, uh, in, in concert with, with its reach. So. We're gonna take a look. Something that I do very quickly sometimes is, if I think I, we've had a hard service with the sling and it's seen a, some you know, hard pulls, I'm going to lay the, lay the lower leg adjacent to the upper section, link for link, and see if I get any change in length, one compared to the other. So I have, I have a, um, Comparison here for this weld point. Grab a pencil on the table over here. So this weld point and weld point are, are even. And then I'll track those legs all the way down and make sure I've got the links are pulled adjacent to one another. And by the time you get to 10, 12, 14 links, they should be still running side by side in a good and new or reasonably new chain sling. You can compare an older chain sling that may have seen elongation or stretch, or maybe has an exceptional link-to-link uh, -link wear. And uh, if you start to get the differences, you wanna make sure that you open those links up and see if you're getting dishing between the link-to-link, -link, or if there's no dishing, but truly elongation of links, that sling needs to come out of service. The sling links should not elongate uh, when in use. So let's we'll take a look, then we start in on, uh, the tag confirms everything is good with the sling, so we'll start with the master link and ensure that it is straight and true all the way through. And then our, in this case, welded link, we'll start there. We'll take a look and see if we have any exceptional moon or dishing and the link-to-link -link contact. And what I'll do then is I'll work on each section of chain and roll that chain over, see if I can find any dimples, damage, uh, elongation, collapsing of links, heat damage, corrosion, and I'll just move that chain in four directions. I can see this chain is marked uh, with this grade, grade 1000, basically, um, chain. I know it's a high-grade alloy chain. And then continue to roll, sweep my eyes left to right, continuing to look for the, a change in the pattern of the chain bodies. And roll that over four times so I can see. And then I'll work my way right down to the hook end, all the way down to the last welded link inside the eye of the eye hoist hook here. And look at the contour of this hook and the wear and metal loss and the alignment of the hook, whether it is um, bent sideways or if it's tip loaded, okay? And that would be very common for other types of hooks as well. And we have another style right here. This is sort of the bad chain. And uh, we have some in, in, uh, incomplete tag information here. In this case, it's 12,000 pounds, and it's noted as a two-leg assembly because it's got 60 degrees marked. So I'm missing a leg <laughs> on the sling. So I already know it's a problem, but just from a physical standpoint, I'll take a look with you. This one has mechanical couplers on it. Very hard to hinge the coupler. I would strongly suspect overload. That could be easily a, an issue or a concern. Down at the hook end, we'll notice right here we actually have sheared off the, uh, the cotter and there is a, uh, that load pin is welded in place, tacked in place. It's a grab hook and technically it's a grade seven, not a grade eight. So it's a substandard hook that's actually been welded on. 
Everything else might be fine, but you know we've already found a rejectable component there, rejectable component with the coupler, and so on. Let's take a look and see if we can find any other. And I'll take that lower end versus the upper end, do a quick comparison on that. They look about the same, but the chain looks like it's been, wow. So as I roll this in my hand, something you might do, I'm pulling on that chain and then trying to roll it left and right, uh, uh, opposing, very stiff. It looks like the links are actually uh, collapsed. And compared to a newer chain, you should be able to hinge and work that chain back and forth very easily. But this chain just, just is very stiff. So I would go back to a catalog. If I really wanted to do the full evaluation, I think we have an elongated chain, and it doesn't match the, the uh, reach either. I have a six foot reach, and I know that, I know we're probably at five feet, so somebody's played with the links all by themselves and, and shortened the leg besides uh, all the other issues with this assembly. So, you know, right from the get go, I think we got a bad sling here. Um, coupler, hook, elongated, chain legs, mismarked, mistagged, everything else. So we'd want to retire this and get, get it out of service. I'm not even sure if anything is really recoverable or, um, on this except maybe the master link, which we'd have to put uh, calipers on to make sure we have uh, proper alignment, uh, length and width, and a good, reduction, or good uh, diameter, and that it's marked so we can re reuse it in another assembly possibly. But that's a rigging shop decision, not mine. Thanks.